Anti shark fin communities have become more vocal and are rallying for support against the consumption of shark fin soup during the upcoming festive period. A conservation organization, Shark Savers, has garnered over 22,000 pledges against consuming shark fin to date. It's no surprise then that these shark activists have riled shark fin traders and importers. While anti shark fin group Project Fin founder Jennifer Lee said that the trade in and consumption of shark fin inevitably leads to the decimation of sharks, seafood trader Melvin Fu said companies like his merely use fins of sharks that have already been caught by fishermen. Even though one third of shark species are actually threatened with extinction, only three are protected from trade. Yeah, so it's actually it is a huge imbalance over there. So even though uh, certain sharks are endangered, like the scallop hammerhead, the great hammerhead, they are not protected from trade. Meaning we can actually we can just buy and sell fins of these sharks without any protection at all. Yeah, we are we are a supporting industry. It is not because of our, our industry that fishing boat goes out to harvest sharks. So it's more like the shark fin industry just helps to utilize more of the shark. Just like more parts of the sharks, I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah, just like in those days, you know, America, Europe, they are exporting a lot of a lot of, a lot of chicken, you know, but they don't have any market for the chicken chicken leg, chicken feet. Yeah, but now China is importing by the thousands of containers. So this is what we are saying. The Chinese are very good in utilizing offcuts or discarded material. You know, like the fish maw. Everybody would take the fish and throw away what is internally, right? And we say, all right, this is good for us. Yeah, we created a delicacy, and which is also proven to be of medicinal value. And what's wrong with that? Since it's going to be discarded, why not use it? Jennifer says sharks are finned and discarded because shark meat is deemed worthless. But Mr. Fu says that is not true. Uh, tuna fisheries actually causes a lot of bycatch of sharks. So when when fishermen go out to see the fish for tuna, um, it is quite often that sharks got caught in the process. And these sharks that are caught are often fin because. Shark meat is really cheap meat. It is nothing compared to tuna meat, which is so much more expensive than shark meat. So, if you are a fisherman out in the ocean and you have limited space on your ship, what you would do would be to store the most important and the most expensive parts of whatever fish that you can you can keep.、Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of tuna fisheries actually dump shark carcasses back into the ocean and keep only the fins. Well, shark meat. I mean, it is. I mean another source of、uh, fish or fish byproduct, which which is relatively cheaper than normal fish meat, right? So they are mainly, mainly consumed in Europe, in the poorer countries, or even some good species like、uh, mako. They are widely consumed in some of the established restaurants in America and in Europe as as steaks. They have health benefit to consuming shark fins for the collagen. And also for the、uh, protein, and they are cholesterol free. And then、uh, these days, pharmaceutical are using the byproduct of shark fins, that is the cartilage of the shark fins, into some kind of a capsule yeah, for this、uh, for people who suffer from arthritis. Up next, we go straight to the consumers and ask Singaporeans what they think of consuming shark fin.